Hello everyone, let's go ahead get started with complete text processing. So in this section we will first learn about general feature extraction, therefore thereafter we will also learn about pre-processing and the cleaning. In the general feature extraction we will be learning how we can load the file, word counts, character counts, average characters per word, stop words count, counting the hashtag and the mentions, if there is any numeric digit present in our text data or if there is any uppercase word count. Thereafter we will move to processing, pre-processing and the cleaning. In the pre-processing we will be first normalizing our text data that means we will be converting all the text data into its lowercase format. Thereafter we will be doing contraction to expansion, email URL removals and its counting, removal of the retweets, special characters, multiple spaces, HTML tags, accented characters, stop words, conversion into the you know the base words, common occurring words removal, rare occurring words removals, word cloud and uh, spelling corrections, tokenization, lemmatizations which we have already done actually, detecting the named entity and uh, noun detections, language detection, sentence translation and using inbuilt sentiment classifier. If you remember we already have done actually detecting entities using NER and we did it with a spacey. We have also done uh, the lemmatization. Alright, so these these two things we will not we will not be doing here. But I'll be showing you how you can do the spelling corrections, tokenizations, and then the noun detections using um, the special kinds of like the text blob and the spacey language detection and sentence translation in other languages, and uh, then how you can use the text blobs in built classifier for uh, implementing the text classifier, sentiment classifier actually in a faster way, alright. So let's go ahead import our necessary packages, alright. So the first of all we have to actually import here the pipe necessary, uh, the python packages which we in general import always like uh, import pandas as, sorry, as pd, alright. I'll be also importing here import pandas as pd then import numpy as np thereafter alright import here I'm gonna here do the import spacey alright so these are the three packages import pandas numpy and spacey thereafter I'm also going to import here stop words alright so from spacey dot lang that's mean the language uh, sorry that's the language and then English language and then stop words I mean spacey language stop words import stop words alright edge stop words alright so these are the python packages and thereafter we are going to Alright, so these are the python packages on which we are going to work. Alright, perfect. Alright, thereafter we have our CSV file here. Alright, so this is the CSV file which I have currently at my github. Alright, so github usercontent.com, let's see it, twitter data. So this twitter data is in the form of CSV file. So we are going to copy this content and then we are going to directly load this content inside this Jupyter notebook. So I'm gonna read it in df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv. Thereafter I'm gonna put here the link from where I want to read this file. Thereafter I'm gonna say that encoding, alright so this is the latin one encoding and uh, Thereafter, I'm gonna say that header is equal to none because this CSV file do not have any header. All right, I think it has tweets and the sentiment, so it's okay. I think. All right, perfect. So when you do this, it will load this content. All right, uh, it is saying that there is a unexpected keyword argument. Let me see. I think here. Alright, so the encoding, then it will load this data in a DF. Now you can see the DF, we have here tweets and sentiment. 
all right let me bring it into a full screen mode so that we can work on uh, with the larger space so this is the tweet text data and this one is the sentiment a zero sentiment says that negative and one means a positive sentiment our goal in this section is to pre-process this text data do remember whenever you are trying to apply any machine learning algorithm the accuracy of your ml algorithm depends what is the quality of your input data if your input data is mix of garbage and it is very noisy then your machine learning is going to produce uh, you know the low accuracy are completely the garbage result so we have to do a pre-processing and that pre-processing should be a very smart like let's say you have this text data all right let's say here this the memory is all right so this is wrong completely wrong and there you have it here all right and uh, okay this is okay but here this is the you know the contraction now we need to expand this contraction and there are so many uh, you will get so many other examples in this complete you know the tweets data like here like uh, don't this all right bring back memory all right so you see how it is working this is this and this is bring back don't all right so these things are actually not a standard english words you have to do some pre-processing to process all these data apart from that you might get a lot of uh, a lot of you know at the rate are a special character in the tweets so those things we have to process all right perfect now let's go ahead and uh, see our uh, you know the counts how many uh, how many positive and negative sentiment data we have here so you can do with the df sentiment then the value underscore counts then you will get that 2000 values are for positive sentiment and 2000 values are for negative sentiment all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson and in the next lesson we will see how we can do word counting and the character countings i'll see you in next lesson